Well, hello everybody! Welcome back to another episode of the Survival Let's Play. Look at this beautiful rainy day. Oh, it looks kind of eerie and murky and scary actually. <laughs> but um, this is actually a really good view of our new tree houses. So, take it all in guys. You can see what I've done. Maybe I've made a mess. Maybe you guys won't like it. But I think it came out really, really cool. Um, well, just the first few designs. Um, and I think they look awesome. I love them. Now this house right here, this is the one we did last episode, so if you missed out on that, make sure to watch that video before you continue this one if you want to see how I built that. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, so I've been taking a lot of the feedback you guys have been leaving. Um, I did read through all the comments, and one of you guys has suggested maybe removing some of the uh, leaf blocks because it was hiding the shape of the house it was it really was and you know after looking back at it it looks kind of like a just a tree <laughs> you couldn't really see anything so um i went ahead and decided to cut back on the leaf blocks and we are now using more vines so i think that looks really really nice also over here um just kind of take in the the new house designs here now i do have a you know some logs kind of hanging down more than the other i have a couple of logs here kind of poking out on the sides here which kind of gives it a twig kind of like not twigs but just like some lumber that maybe was cut uneven or something that was done very hand not not men without man-made machinery basically is what i'm trying to get at so i mean th these houses right here are pretty cool i love them and honestly they're gonna be probably my favorite builds that i've done um as of late honestly uh they're so incredibly cool and uh, let's take a little tour inside i'm gonna show you guys really quickly so i've been working on these the last few days and oh they're so incredibly cool so let's go ahead and go in here Oh, it's a cow. I've um, got a little staircase here to get up to this little ladder here. And it brings you right inside of the house. So, you come here, in here, there is a door here. We'll go over that here in just a moment. And you come over here, and you'll see there is another ladder. Take the ladder on the way up here, and it brings you to the roof of the very first house. Now, if you guys have ever seen Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, um, it's a movie that came out like in the 90s, I think. Um, but... I mean, you guys, oh, well, I'm going to show you guys first this house. <laughs> um, this house is pretty roomy, though. I love this. It's really, very spacious. Um, but anyways, yeah, this movie, though, there's a part in the movie where there's, like, Robin Hood and all of his little gang of um, mischief, mischievous bandit friends. I don't know. <laughs> whatever you call them. Um, they live, they end up living in Nottingham Forest. I believe it's the forest where they're kind of like hiding out. Well, they end up bu building a tree village within the area to kind of keep them protected and stuff. And they, it's really, really cool because a lot of the houses are connected by like bridges, um, ropes to get down. It looks really, really neat. Um, I even consider maybe even bringing in a water meal coming well there is a water source that i could probably build maybe like make a little water hole over here but i would love to build some kind of a a water um mechanism kind of thing where it's flowing you know they have to get water up top so the easier way to do it is to have a giant pulley system kind of bringing water to them and then going back down i don't know there's there's a part in the movie that shows something similar to that and i thought about implementing it and bringing it here we'll have to figure it out maybe we can work on it just a little bit later today but the main focus of today's video is going to be the auto smelter so um as of right now we don't have a lot of need for smooth stone or glass or anything that requires smelting but there's been a ton of you guys in the suggestions um or in the box in the comment box comment section giving suggestions <laughs> oh my goodness um that you would like to see me build an auto smelter because you know every survival world needs one apparently so i've never really built one now i did you know of course i am um, i'm still learning a lot of redstone um i've gone through a ton of redstone tutorials just kind of um seeing which ones i like the most so i went ahead and laid out uh five 
uh, five furnaces. So I think in his tutorial, it was like a f six furnaces, eight furnaces or something like that. It was really, really massive. So I think for us, we, you know, honestly, we don't really need a smelter that gigantic. Let's say that we decide we do want one that's a little bit bigger than that. We can always add on to it later. But for the meantime, I think this is going to be suitable for us. And uh, there we go. So this, it's going to be a lot of placement of hoppers. Um, all right. And the next thing, I just want to get right, really honestly, just get right into it because this might take just a little bit of time. <laughs> so just bear with me. So, um, honestly, I think this is, this is really, this is probably one of the coolest, um, smelters, smelter designs that I've seen. All right, so we got a comparator here. The comparator goes, where does the comparator go? I believe it goes here. Yes, and then the repeater, let's get the repeater going, is going to go here like that. And then let me make sure I got all my cobble here. All right, and then this is going to go about here. No, nope, that's how it goes. Perfect. All right, so now we can go ahead and place a torch right there. Should light that up. Perfect. And then this is going to go there. Okay, yep, we got it. Put all these across here. Okay, great. And let's see here. So we'll need to place a comparator here and then the other repeater here. And then we're going to place a redstone torch Let's see, I think it goes on this side, yeah. This side, there we go, perfect. All right, so now what we wanna do is we're going to place our redstone, redstone here, perfect. And then all the way across on this one too. I feel like such a pro right now, guys. You have no much, you have no idea how much pride I have right now. <laughs> how much confidence, rather, that I have right now. Oh, it's so hilarious. Even though I have honestly no idea what I'm doing. It's because I know I'm a quick learner as far as watching tutorials. That's for sure. <laughs> okay. So I think that's, that's about it. It's very simple to make a very simple design. Oh, wait, I am missing one vital, vital thing is to actually place your, um, I need more hoppers and we'll need to place all of our hoppers here let's see here we're going to place a chest about let's place it here perfect and then a hopper connecting to the chest all the way across hopefully i'm doing this correctly i think that's how he did it putting some stairs around it <clears throat> let's see like something like this oh there we go okay <laughs> um and there we go that goes a long way look how nice that looks not bad not bad at all all right so what's the other thing we may need to do oh yeah we need oh we need more we need more chests let's see here let's go ahead and make two more that's all we need and we're gonna need these for our input so right here you're going to put your input for the coal Right there, and then this is the input for your item. Whatever item you're gonna be smelting, you're gonna place them all in there. And then of course you place all of your coal in there. So we have 55 coal, we have all this cobblestone. So let's go ahead and place the cobblestone in. We don't have much of it. And then let's go ahead and place our coal in there. And that will stock everything up. Uh oh. Oh, there it goes, okay. <laughs> I was like, oh no. All right, so they are all working perfectly. So I think that's gonna be it for just this, the smelter design, um, and probably we'll work on another design later to really ni nicely fix it up. We already have almost a full stack of smooth stone there. That's pretty spectacular. All right, so now it's time to head back over to our tree village, and we're gonna work on a little bit over there. I'm gonna go ahead and clean out some of my inventory here, put some things away, and then I'll be back with you guys here in just a moment. Okay, so I think I'm just about ready to build this pulley system. So basically what I did really quickly off camera, oops, <laughs> is I built this little water hole. Um, didn't take too much time, up, but uh, 
wanted to get that done just to kind of get a give us a head start i also built this little um i guess you would call it let's go up here really quick i'll show you um it's somewhat of a balcony i guess if you would like to call it that but it's going to be basically a a place for us to catch water now i did extend this little bridge too that connects this house as well it's kind of a, a little dock area now so i i'm thinking though um, I do want to kind of make this look a little bit nicer. Now, I think the way... Oh, did I get it? I don't know if I got that or not. <laughs> um, I guess the way to kind of dress it up just a little bit is to add in some trap doors. And that might make it look a little bit better. Let's see if we put one here. I don't know. That looks kind of nice. I don't know. We'll leave it like that for now. But anyways, heading over here, this is the, the little balcony. So um, here, this is going to be a good place for us to catch water. We are going to build, like I said, a little pulley system to have water transferred up here and in all other places. So, we, I mean, we could have like different spouts kind of going from, we'll have one going to this house and we're going to have possibly another house over here. Um, and then we'll have a spout going that direction as well. So, um, let's go ahead. I'm going to place a little tank here. I guess like a place for it to catch water. Otherwise, it's just going to spill all over the place over here. Um, so, I'm going to put some trap doors here. So, this is where we're going to be catching the water at. And let's go ahead and get to building. I think we can make this jump over here. Woo! <laughs> there we go. All right. <clears throat> so, let's go ahead and get started by building this about, I'm saying... Oh, good grief. Can I get up here? <laughs> um, I think we're going to go ahead and build it. Let's do... We're going to try to make it as... I don't know. I even honestly don't have a, a dimension-wise. I think this is about as high as I want it. I want it to kind of be level with this. Um, I think that's how we're going to have to do it either way. All right. I think we're good on that. All right. So now let's go ahead and go this way. So looking at this based on everything, it's not going to be a centered spout. But that's okay. That's quite all right. I think it'll still look really cool. Um, all right. So let's go ahead. I'm just building the base of it first before we get started on uh, on everything else. Let's see. Put a there we go. Log there, and we'll need to bring the log out just a little bit further here. About two. I think I should have enough logs. Yes. So I built this in creative, and I thought it looked really really neat. Um, I hope that. Um, Oh, wait, no, wait, we don't need that there. Come back here. Oh, no, you fell in the water. <laughs> um, but I think this is going to... I hope this comes out as well as I really hoped, honestly. Um, all right, so there's that. And then now let's go and jump down here. And let's just take a quick little look here. Yep, all right, that's working out pretty good so far. And then this is going to be... Let, let's start on the pulley here. Now, the way I'm going to do this is... I'm going to build, I'm going to put a bunch of stairs in here. And the re, uh, not stairs. These are fences. <laughs> um, the reason why I'm going to put these fences is I can go in and basically remove anything I don't need. And then in between the fences, I'm able to uh, fit in, uh, fit in the, these stairs right here. I'm going to use stairs for this. All right. So now all I got to do now is go and remove every other fence. Ah, no, not that fence. <laughs> um, you're going to remove every other fence. And then we can put in these stairs like a so. Let's go ahead and grab our dirt. And I will go get those fences momentarily. The ones that fill in the water. And then we'll go like that. And then we'll put one up here. Wait, did I miss a spot? I did. Right down there. All right. So let's see really quick. All right. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's going to work. It's going to work. So we're going to do that on both sides. Of course, we're going to have the uh, stairs facing another direction to kind of have it looking like you know, it's, it's constantly rotating and pulling water. So once the water is pulled from here, the spout, of course, obviously the water we pulled up here, and then there'll be a spout um, bringing it to this little uh, catcher over here. Um, so I think that's going to work out pretty good. Actually, we could just, yeah, we could go like that. Remove this one. Place a stair there. Again, place a stair, a stair here. And there we go. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that looks, that looks great. That looks pretty good. Now, I don't know. It's kind of, 
it may be a little hard to see what it is. You know, what if I got an idea? All right. <clears throat> yep, definitely liking the the jungle wood better. Oh, this looks so much better because if, you know, like I said, if you think about it over time, it gets moldy and, and all that. So, you know, especially from coming in and out of the water constantly, this the wood stays wet. So, you know, it would turn green over time, right? So if you think about it, I mean, that actually looks really, really cool. How did you start flying again? Here, let's uh, have a little seat there. Toucan, where is Toucan? Oh yeah, Toucan's downstairs. All right, so that was looking pretty cool. Now, the next thing I wanna go ahead and do if, um, let's see, go up a little bit more here and we can place this here. Yeah, there we go, that looks more solid. A little bit more solid there. All right, so I added a single button there, added a stair there. I think this looks really good. Makes a lot of sense, right, you know? Because over time, I mean, these constantly stay wet. They're constantly working to push water up here. I think that that really does. It just works out perfect. Um, all right. So now let's go ahead and get this dirt here. We're going to pillar it all the way up and uh, make it up here. So we should have enough. Yeah, we have still have a ton of trap doors here. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of put some dirt here to keep me from falling. Um, all right. So trap doors. Let's see. Let's go ahead and place this dirt here. This is where the spout's gonna be. Um, you know what, I feel, I feel like maybe this is just a little bit too high, hold on. Okay, let's remove the button. We'll get that later. Let's put the dirt here. Awesome. All right, so now we can put the trap doors down. Um, yep, trap doors here. We'll, go, we'll have to put trap doors um, underneath as well, underneath the dirt, which we can do momentarily. Okay. I'm getting it, guys. I'm getting it. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, put that there. Oh, wait. Oh, no, that's not how I wanted to do it. Hold on. Okay, let's put that there. Perfect. Okay. All right, so we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, so there's like kind of a backboard so that when the water's pulled up here, it doesn't completely fall. Um, and then this is actually going to have to change a little bit. I wanted to have this here, but if you think about it, of course, the water's going to come up here. Um, let's go ahead and turn this into, we'll just turn this into the stair. There we go. Yeah. No. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. You can't really see anything, but we'll just go like this. There we go. <laughs> All right, so that works. And then, of course, the water is going to get pushed this way downward but we got to get underneath there um oh gosh gonna break all this dirt here we got to get underneath there to um, put trap doors underneath so that shouldn't be a big problem all right let's go here oh, there we go boop boom perfect and i think that's good enough um, do we need to put trap doors there too? I think we do actually. Let's get up here. This is a task. This is a tedious task guys But um, you guys want to see me build right? <laughs> you guys said you wanted to see me building on camera for sure. So um, This is pretty much how I do things a little bit Tedious, but it's fun. I love building. I love building and survival. Uh, oh, it's getting a little bit dark in here Let's uh, let's light it up a little bit. We'll put some lights over here and we'll put you here. Perfect. Um, all right, so let's extend this little tank a little bit. I had it kind of small, but I thought it would work out perfectly, but I don't think that it will. You know what? We can make it just like a skinny, a skinny long tank. I think that actually might work out pro perfectly fine. Kind of like a little, it's a little canal, a little drain. All right, so this might work. So now the next thing we got to do is test it out. Um... Let's put the water there. It is flowing into here nicely. Um, it's not spreading though. Darn it. Okay, I think it's because maybe the tank is, not the tank. This barrel is a little bit too small. All right. So looking at it, oh yeah. Okay, yeah, definitely like it. I feel like there could be a little bit more done to it for sure. That's definitely a fact. Maybe we can like kind of put in some some more logs. Let's see here. Let's go like that. Let's bring these out just a little bit here, a little teeny bit. I like it. Yeah, that looks awesome. 
there's kind of something weird going on right here, though, that I could probably work on a little bit better. But there's water. The pulley system is pulling water up into the, the tree house, like the main tree house. And obviously, people can come over here and gather water with their buckets and all that good stuff. Yeah, I like it. This looks awesome. So, there could be a couple of things I could add. Like, I could add a trapdoor here. Here, I could change these into the jungle um, the jungle half slabs. Add a couple of more things there, but I think I think I'm going to at least change those to jungle. Hmm, okay, so I've done removing of some stuff, okay? I've removed some of the logs from here. I think thought maybe it was a little bit too much coming out um, here and up here and on the back as well. Um, I also removed some of the trap doors too, and, and I think it looks a lot better because you can actually see the water flow, and I think that looks really, really nice. I also um, worked on that bit over there just a little bit. Let me go ahead and eat some of this food. I should probably have cooked all of this food that I caught. Uh, but I didn't. Oh well. I wonder if I can make this jump. I'm feeling I'm feeling a froggy, guys. I'm feeling um I'm feeling brave. Let's see. Can we make it? Oh, we made it. Oh goodness. Whew. Okay. So I'm I've added some trapdoors here just to kind of hide this little ugly gap. I mean you you can't do anything with it really, and, and there's not really a way I can fix it. So um I added that and I think that looks pretty good. Not bad, right? And of course I made this a solid um well, I actually, if I show you what I'm talking about, you can actually come in here and get water. So you can actually utilize it. So that looks pretty cool. And um, so I think we are done. That looks really, really awesome. Now, if I can make the jump back is the question. Oh, I made it barely. All right. So, guys, that's the, that's the pulley system. Let's look at it from down here. I really like this. This looks awesome. Okay, yeah, definitely. Oh, look at the water is leaking down. This is perfect. I want the more water leaks, the better. I think that looks cool when the water is leaking like that. It's very realistic feeling to me. So yeah, that's looking that's looking awesome. Um, I may put in just throwing like a torch over here really quickly though because um, I didn't want anything to spawn on it. So oh goodness, if I could walk, please. <laughs> I don't seem to know how to walk right now. All right, so let's see here. Yeah. Very, very cool. All right, so I think that's it for today. We've done a lot. We built an auto smelter. Um, now we've built a water pulley system that we can actually use. Um, so, I mean, it's looking, this is looking awesome. This is looking so awesome. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over down to the Subby Temple and add our two subscribers of the day. Okay, so our two subscribers today are Haley, Mikhail, and uh, Michael Novokos, Novokos, I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly, and I believe he's related to Basilis. So thank you, gentlemen, for the continued support. Also, Haley, you rock girl. Thank you uh, also for all the awesome comments. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Um, I'm going to have something cool and special for you guys for the 30K special next episode. I didn't really have a lot of time to, um, to get something together, but yes, I want to say also thank you guys lastly but not least thank you guys so much for 30,000 subscribers you guys are amazing and um, here's to the next milestone as always I love you all I'll see you next time bye